All right, hey Scorpio, so I am doing your singles read. This one is gonna be done a little differently from past reads and uh, I don't really wanna run into everything. You'll see, um, it's gonna just be at the end that it's done a little bit different. So if you guys haven't subscribed, please do. So for now, we're just gonna pull to see who is coming towards Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Okay, so we have the queen of um, pentacles um, comfort. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy that's coming your way. Um, could be that this person's over the age of 35. Um, with the king and queen of pentacles, these are typically somebody who um, owns their own business, runs their own business. They pretty much got a handle on their cash flow and they don't need anybody, all right? This person doesn't need anybody. They want somebody um, to love and to share love with. Okay. This person's got it going on the attraction. Will the attraction be instant or mutual? What's the chemistry? We got them. All right. So with the attraction coming out, okay. <laughs> All right, so here's just instantaneously what comes to mind, all right? You guys are gonna be thinking about each other in dirty ways, all right? We have the devil card coming out and then I'm kind of looking at this as an illusion above this guy's head, all right? Yes, there are people in the background, but I almost feel like he's dreaming or thinking about it and I feel like that's mutual energy. With the devil card coming out, I feel like that's um, <laughs> not only um, having thoughts, but actually acting on them. And I feel like the devil is coming out because um, honestly, okay, here's what I'm feeling. Um, when you guys come together um, intimately, I almost feel like uh, it's, there's going to be like an addictive behavior. All right. With that, if you know what I mean. And we have the king of swords. Um, so I feel like with this card coming out, this is... Um, <sighs> If you just look at the energy on there, I just feel, yeah, that that's an agreeable. Um, this is going to be, you guys are truly going to be um, very much into each other. So what else about this person? What's this person like? All right, what is this person like? We have the Eight of Pentacles, so this is somebody who um, doesn't mind working, all right? This is somebody who puts their nose to the grind and um, is all about business, okay? We have Justice card coming out, so this person could work in the justice system. Um, two, this could be that you've been waiting on somebody to come your way for a while, and your team is saying, here this person is. We have the Ace of Pentacles, so this person, when they come to you, um, they're not playing around with the ace of pentacles coming out this is somebody who's um, um, about commitment and um valuing you know what it is to be in a relationship the challenges the challenges all right so it not moving um along um, possibly, I just, I, I don't feel it. I don't see anything of a past situation here. Um, but it could be that somebody's, um, worried about getting their heart broken. Um, so it prolongs the movement forward. Um, we have the king of wands. So somebody who's not ready is what I'm kind of feeling. Somebody who's not ready to, um, get this going with the death card coming out in the challenge. Um, I feel like this is, um, um, the same as the card being in reverse, afraid to start something new, all right? And getting the new beginning off to a start. So let's just pull advice on that. The advice. All right, so I feel like these cards are coming out because um, 
I feel like it's it's going to be on your person's end. They're afraid to get they're they're the ones that are afraid to get heartbroken. All right, um, they probably maybe have felt like they have been put as an option before, and they probably fear that. Um, or that, that uh, I almost, too, I'm getting the feeling of not being good enough for you. But the connections, um, your team is saying the connections there, it's deep. It is, it's it, it's going to be what you guys feel it is. So the favorable aspects. The favorable aspects. All right, so we have the four of pentacles. So um, eventually the guards will be let let down. All right, eventually you guys will come out of this. The, your person will come out of this phase where everybody's out to get them. <laughs> um, all right, so with the world card, I, I just feel like that's um this is how you guys are going to be feeling about each other. All right, I feel like this is a, it's a very beautiful card to have. Um, and two, it's your team saying that regardless of, of the pullback on this, all right, your the situation will change. Um, it, it's, it's coming out in your favor. Um, and I just feel like this is mutual energy. You guys not wanting to give up that, uh, opportunity of love. So I'm going to pull some charms and these are going to be what the synchronicities that you start seeing to know this read is for you. Um, you'll see the spelling of the charm. You'll hear somebody say it. You'll hear it on TV. Just anything that is aligning with this charm. All right. So we have a leaf and I'm not looking, I'm just kind of stirring things up. Okay, it looks like a bunny, um, and the bunny is holding a tennis racket. She's got a flower on her head and a heart for her nose, it looks like. And we have a little locket that says made with love. So I feel like you might be seeing anything in re resemblance to lockets, like those little necklaces. All right, so I'm gonna pull some of these. Um, I, I've meditated with these. These are just handmade things that I made um, as far as uh, physical features on your person. All right, and then I'm gonna pull the where, when, or how. Okay, so your person, all right, coming out with homebody. Average build, maybe a hippie sense of style, likes to dress like a hippie. Um, don't take every single word out personally, you guys, please. Um, unique to what you feel is unique. All right, we have works out. Somebody who is bald, maybe bix their head with like a razor. And oh, we got a hairstylist. All right, and then where, when, or how we will meet. So look at that, fate. So we're not gonna know, it's just gonna happen out of nowhere. We have three months. Oh, everybody's favorite, divine timing. Ooh, look at that. Some of you are gonna be waiting for a while. Okay, with this one right here, I'm just gonna tell you, um, Somebody needs uh, to learn a little bit about hiring their vibration, okay? Um, because the, the time frames on these are between now and this time, and I always meditate with that intent. All right, so if you are in a low vibrational state, if you guys want to email me for whoever this might be for, um, I can um, try to help out. I'm, I'm not a, um, a professional, but I've, I can give you at least the tools that I've used to pull my own self out of that kind of low vibration. And then we have airport. So if you're going on vacation or a work trip or something like that. All right, so I'm going to pull the signs that you could be dealing with. And this will be, it can be any placement. It doesn't have to be their, their straight um, sun sign. So we have Aquarius, Gemini, and Leo coming out. And the initials. All 
Okay. So we have BB. MN. And we have JH. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there for you. Um, just remember that if your initials um, or the signs are not here, it does not mean that read is not for you. Um, just not pulling every single um, initial, every single alphabet, all right? Um, hopefully um, you guys will let me know who this is resonating with. Um, also to check your other placements to be sure that uh, maybe there's something for you in those reads. All right, I love you guys, bye.